Hey guys, so today is front yard decoration day. I'm gonna pull out the tombstones, maybe bring up a prop. Um, I'm also, maybe not today, but eventually, or within the next week and a half, gonna build a big like roadside billboard type thing for Uncle Bubba's. Um, just since that's the big overarching theme this year. Um, even though we're naming it Cree Bakers, the theme is Uncle Bubba's. Um, also today I'm going to try and knock out um, most of the paint. I'm feeling kind of lazy. I don't really want to, I was originally going to paint these rooms green over the black, but I really don't want to do that. Um, I'm just kind of not in the mood to paint that much and plus I'm not really feeling those rooms. I am feeling these gray walls though. I'm going to paint those up, um, paint wash them with like here, I have some quartz in here that are like half empty. Let me see what I have. I have like this blue, um, an off yellow I probably won't use, but um, I might do a little bit of yellow stuff if I water it down. I've got a thing of purple. Um, that's going to look really cool. Another thing of purple. Two different tones of purple to use. Um, looks like another blue in here. Yeah, another yellow and another blue. So I'll probably paint wash with those. And um, I think that's going to look really cool in here. Um, you know, I might want to wait till tomorrow to paint, just get a few last minute prep things done that I'm also going to need to paint, like build the butcher, put in the butcher counter in here. Um, so we can also paint that the same gray tone. Um, and then maybe paint tomorrow. Um, the big thing is um, once the paint's done, we can just start totally decking out, detailing. Like, they can put the Uncle Bubba sign up on this wall because it's painted, but I can't do anything to this wall. Like, the menu can't go up yet. Um, and then also we, we just can't complete the overarching full theme. Um, we're going to have... I'm going to build maybe two or three... Um, since I have this other great stuff, I'm going to build maybe two or three, just, um, do the opposite of the pants, do shirts, but like that same pant thing with the guts eking out through it, and, um, make them a little bit more, or less, just woody, so that way they can be hanging here, and if someone pushes through them and they come swinging back into someone else, it's not going to hurt them, but, um, I'm gonna do that, hang, them, hang one from each rafter here, probably not the last rafter, just cause that's sort of a transition thing, that'll probably be more of a fabric thing like this, but um, so that's kind of something I'm sort of feeling inspired to do, um, so I'm not really sure, but I'm just gonna see where today takes me, or right, now I'm gonna um, pull out all the tombstones. So they're all in here. I'll show you when I get them out. But yeah, that's what I'm up to. Okay, so I'm working on some torsos. These two are going to be hanging. This one's going to be the bloody pig butcher. Um, it's going to replace. Um, let me show you. I moved this guy that was in the barbecue joint. I'm not sure if I showed this. I might have already showed you this. But um, I moved this guy to in here. Um, so he looks good. Um, the pig butcher is going to be where that guy was, behind where I'm going to put a butcher counter. And, um, so yeah, um, that's going on. I decided not to put up a billboard. I think it's going to look really stupid. So I'm just going to let the story tell itself on Halloween and just leave that Uncle Bubba sign up for people. Because this just looks like crap. I can't find a good way to do it, but I brought out the prop, brought out that tombstones. I'm going to have to make some more tombstones, but um, it's going to be cool. But what I'm working on now is the props. And this guy, his arm is going to come out a little bit. But, um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Let's shoot another update in like an hour or whenever I get more done. So, yeah, bye. All right. Um, it's mid-afternoon, a couple hours after the last video. Um, I built... Gosh dang it. Um, we're in the barbecue shed. Um, I built 
this little deli counter type thing and I got this pillar up um, so that's gonna be cool um, this will be once again gray with the blue like paint washes same with this wall and with the blue light I think it's gonna look really cool the blue strobe I guess um, so now I'm gonna go do some great stuff for like four different props out back I'm gonna make like a zombie cowboy head and um, and then two hanging torsos I showed you and then the pig prop needs great stuff for where it would be cut off at the legs so I'm gonna do that too um, just make guts um, I'm gonna be careful to wear gloves this time because last time I didn't and it took like five days to get all the great stuff rubbed off of my hands after 20 to 30 minutes of vigorous scrubbing the first night so um, this is the pig I got gloves on him just need great stuff there because the head will come down once he's hanging this t-shirt will get great stuff on neck um, armholes and waist same with this shirt these two shirts will be bloodied up like crazy this will have blood on the bottom um, but for today I'm just spraying great stuff and then tomorrow I'll get them in place after painting and stuff so and then this is zombie cowboy um, I'm just gonna grade stuff in the back grade stuff the hat to him and um, it'll be like a hanging zombie cowboy head which will look cool so yeah that's what I'm doing um, I'm gonna go grab some gloves and I'll show you what they look like once I spray them okay so I didn't get as far as I would have liked with the great stuff I mean Finish that prop, finish this one. If it expands, it should be good. Um, this one, I barely got any out of it before I had to quit. Um, so, yeah. Time will tell how much it expands by, but I think I'm gonna need another two for sure. And I didn't get to the head. So I'll have to buy another can or two, which will be like eight bucks total. So it's not too bad. And then maybe some guts inside in the uh, barbecue shop too like on the walls and stuff like in the gut hallway but we'll see what I end up doing um, no big deal just didn't get as far as it could have or should have but I mean it's cool so yeah hey guys um, I'm putting a roof on this scene I think it's gonna look really cool um, sort of switches back and forth with the lattice which I think is pretty awesome. I have to close the garage door to get up on top and screw them in. So I'm gonna do that now, and then I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. Okay, so we got the lattice walls up, or ceiling pieces up. Um, kinda makes me wanna paint in here, but it'll probably just be white. Um, I was sorta of planning on doing that anyway, so. Um, it's nice, we had these old crappy two by twos that were being stored right where the lattice was. So it'll look good. Um, that area right here is open just because that's where this part of the garage door comes through. So um, that's why that's there. This door will look good. I mean, it'll be dark. So, And also I figured out the microwave is really loud when you hit it on the side. Um, that wasn't full force, but I don't want to blow your speakers out. So. Oh, it's really nice and loud and scares people. Um, not sure what I'm going to do now, but I'll find something to do. So yeah, I'll shoot another update in a little bit. Okay, so I'm in the barbecue shack. Um, can't really read it on camera, just because I think there's so much spray paint in the air. Sort of fogging it up, but it says fresh meat on the meat counter thing. Um, and then I put the pants here. I think that's the best spot for them. Um, Time will tell, but we can always move them. It's really easy to do. I'm just spray painting around, doing some random stuff. I'm like pretty much out of red paint though. So I'm gonna need to get more before I can finish the props that I great stuffed out back. Um, next up, I think I'm gonna put in the graveyard. So I'll show you that. Graveyard up, that one I'm trying to glue together because it's broken part. So, um, yeah. Oh, 
that thing. And then I'm dead. So, yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. I might just go inside. So, if that's the case, this is the end of the vlog. So, later.